One of the most highly anticipated music videos of the year is finally out and it's pretty much everything that we could have ever wanted. What's up y'all, it's Emil and it's Junior back here on Clever News. Hope you're having a happy and healthy Friday the 13th. We've got no bad luck here though because the Don't Call Me Angel music video is really just fantastic. So in the video which premiered at midnight, we get to see some badass outfits, a lot of helicopters, and some potential Liam Hemsworth shade from none other than Miley Cyrus. So the video is directed by Hannah Lux Davis who has done a lot of Ariana's recent music video hits like Thank You Next, Boyfriend, Break Up With Your Girlfriend, Seven Rings, and Breathing. She's also done Little Mixes, Bounce Back, Halsey's Nightmare, and Casey Musgraves' Rainbow. She's one of the very few women music video directors in the business right now and honestly one of the best. Her repertoire of videos over just the past two years is very impressive so I already knew the video was going to be amazing. And what's an amazing video without some amazing outfits and guys? There were a hell of a lot of good ones in Don't Call Me Angel. Their angel looks were all so on brand for all three singers, and this person agrees with me. He said, I love how they changed nothing from their personalities to their type of music to make it fit into one song. Lana is uniquely Lana. Ariana is uniquely Ariana, and Miley is uniquely Miley. I love this. Ari wore some small Victoria's Secret-esque lingerie and of course her signature thigh-high boots, which ironically reminded me a lot of when she was an angel in her performance at the 2014 Victoria's Secret fashion show. Lana wore a longer flowing nightgown that we've come to know and love on her, like in her video for High by the Beach, which also heavily features helicopters. Except in this video, there was a little less violence. In fact, the only violence came from the goat Miley Cyrus. Her angel look was a badass two-piece outfit that was part bra, part harness, along with some tight leather pants. But the outfit I really want to talk about is the one that she wore in the boxing ring during her solo in the beginning of the song. The white tank, the gold chains, the boxing gloves that literally read Miley Cyrus. I was getting strong 2014 Miley vibes and loving every second of it. And it's in the ring that people think Miley is throwing some subtle shade at her recently divorced, soon to be ex-husband Liam Hemsworth. First, it's important to note that Liam used to call Miley his angel like all the damn time. Now, I don't think this song was in any way written about Liam. In fact, Miley isn't even credited as a songwriter on Don't Call Me Angel. And I'm sure she would have chosen to do the song whether she was getting divorced or not, but I am saying that it probably still felt good for her to say, and she did probably have a hand in writing her verse in the song. And her verse gets pretty aggressive. Here's a little snippet. Don't call me angel and I'm a mess. Don't call me angel and I get undressed. And while she's out here taking no prisoners, she's in a boxing ring beating up some poor unfortunate soul who happens to look a lot like Liam. I mean, even up close, there's a pretty striking resemblance. And she did come out with another song recently called Slide Away, which was pretty much about Liam, so I'm sure she's still at least channeling that energy subconsciously. I'm not the only one who thinks this too. Someone on Twitter said, I really just got to watch Miley Cyrus beat the shit out of Liam Hemsworth. Huh, worth every penny. Another person said, for a second I thought Miley was beating up Liam. Miley even posted this to her Instagram story along with the lyrics, so say my name with respect, all my girls successful and you're just a guest. It seems a little pointed, especially with wannabe Liam all tied up in the background. But hey, at least she's shouting out her girlfriends in the video because it looks like they had a lot of fun otherwise. Miley gets a taste of Ari and to be honest, it doesn't look like Ari exactly loves being licked. And we also get an almost Britney Madonna moment from Miley and Lana. But besides all the girl on girl, we also see Lana walking around for most of the music video with a very threatening aura, speaking on a walkie talkie and throwing knives into Target's junk. Her verse is sultry and very Lana. It might be one of my favorite parts of the song, but then again, I have a lot of favorite parts of the song. Like when we get a surprise Elizabeth Banks cameo at the end. Angels, this is not our house. Time to go to work. Okay, so we may not really quite understand what's happening, but I guess we'll just have to watch the movie to get filled in. But Elizabeth Banks is directing and starring in the movie alongside Kristen Stewart, Naomi Scott, and Ella Belinska. And yes, that symbol that you see all over the music video is the Charlie's Angels symbol. I mean, don't get me wrong, the movie looks good and all, but what I really want to see is a full-length movie starring these three. I mean, think of the chemistry, think of the one-liners and sass that we would get. It would be an instant classic for sure. In fact... What about a Charlie's Angel musical with Ariana Grande, Lana Del Rey, and Miley Cyrus? Think about it. But for now, we just have to enjoy the song and music video, which is exactly what I plan on doing for the next few weeks at least. What about you guys? Did you like the video? Did you think that Miley was shading Liam even a little bit? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. And then take a second to subscribe to Clever News so we can continue giving you all the top entertainment news stories of the day. And if you want to be a part of the Clever fam, subscribe and click that bell to turn on push notifications as well. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Click here for even more news, and I will see you next time right here on Clever.